Here's a pair of Nike Flyknit Lunar Trainers from 2013 that I dug up from the back of my closet, and they're absolutely thrashed. I was a distance runner back in the high school days, and these specific Lunar Flyknits have the mileage of a whole senior year track season on them. And now, in true college graduate form, fully back home ready to clean these up. Just for reference, these are what they look like brand new in 2013. These initially came with blue laces, but I opted for these matching red ones back in the day. No reason, just thought it was a cool look. And this is how they look now under my ownership. For this cleaning, I'll be using my old faithful, some Jason Mark sneaker cleaner. I've made a few videos highlighting the process of doing this with other sneakers, so be sure to check them out. Honestly, I don't even know how these got this dirty, but I figured I have some time to kill, so let's just get started. These Lunar Flynets are not to be confused with the once popular Flynet Trainer. The Flynet Lunar is one of many Nike hybrid gimmicks that they love doing with popular silhouettes. This Lunar one was definitely more suited for distance running, highlighting this Lunar Lone Soul that was one of Nike flagship sneaker technologies back in the day. There was a point in time where the Nike Flyknit Trainer was the sneaker to have. I'll have a few articles linked in the description that are great reads on the history of the Flyknit technology. But in true Nike fashion, they played out this Flyknit by creating different models and hybrids throughout all their sneaker lines to the point where pretty much they would end up in Nike outlet stores. With the sneaker cleaning all wrapped up, I have to say that these came out pretty decent. I had low expectations given the 6 years of dirt just sitting on them. It seems all the surface dirt came off and there wasn't too much staining. I will say, the flyknit material did fray a little bit given the aggressive brushing at times, so definitely do this at your own risk. Also, the Lunar Lawn technology definitely isn't as comfortable, which is to be expected given all the mileage on these. They are definitely bottomed out now. The plan for these anyways was to make them sneakers I could toss around when running to the grocery store hanging out in the backyard or something, so it's really no sweat off my back. And you could tell that the pair I have is from back in the day because it has the Nike Plus technology that has a little slit in the footbed for that tracking chip. I don't know if you guys remember that, but cool gimmick too. On that note, I have so many old Nike runners that I have stored away in my closet, such as the Nike Lunar Glide 4s, some Free Run 2s, and many others. Depending on the feedback of this video, maybe I'll pull them out and chat about them for a few minutes. Do you remember the flying at trend? Do you guys have any old running sneakers in your closet that are planning on cleaning up and bringing back to life? I'd love to read about in the comments below. But that's all for this one. If you support what I'm doing, feel free to take a look at my other videos and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you guys in the next one.